for a painting video, I think everything needs to be a little bit more colorful. Well, maybe not that colorful. That's better. By the way, check out this shirt. Is this not the coolest? Uh, no, this is not sponsored by Ruger. Maybe one day, but not today. Uh, but this is actually one of the best EDC shirts um, I think that I own. There's really no printing. And uh, I don't think anybody would ever know that you're carrying a Ruger LCP Max. Well, we're not here to talk about the LCP Max. <laughs> That's just a little tangent. Nope, we're here to do some painting with 10 millimeter out of this M&P 10 millimeter M2.0. And it's uh, wearing a Hollow Sun um, 407A3. So it's one of the older hollow suns, but it's still working great. And it fits really nicely on this uh, M&P right here. So if y'all saw my last painting video, um, which very few of you did, it didn't get a lot of views, but that's okay. It's not for everybody. And this video probably won't be for everybody too, but it's just a fun project. And basically in the last video, I uh, took, I think it was nine different guns because I, shot nine different canisters of paint and on that stand over there that's actually a brand new stand not the one from the last video but on that stand i had three canvases set up with a canister of paint right in the middle and with nine different calibers um shot out nine different guns i sp uh, shot the paint canister splattered the paint all over and um it created a really cool piece of art when everything was all said and done uh, if you haven't seen that video I recommend you go check it out. You don't have to because you'll probably see the same thing right here. But um, yeah, it, it resulted in a really cool piece of art. So I'm going to try and replicate that today uh, a little bit. But for starters, let's just go and do some mag dumps with this thing. And believe it or not, this came with four mags. So I've got all four mags loaded up. And I believe that we're at eight, uh, probably eight yards right now. not too bad. I don't really see what all those pussy FBI agents were complaining about. Maybe not hitting every shot, but at least half of them. Mag. Woo -wee. She's purring like a kitty. Or should I say a tiger? This thing is <laughs> this thing is roaring. So alright, let me go ahead and get the three canvases set up and we'll get to some painting. So we're gonna be shooting at five yards here with some Freedom Munitions 10 millimeter. It's a 180 grain bullet that's going um, on average, I already chronographed it, 1127 feet per second. So it's, it's moving pretty fast, especially for a pretty heavy projectile. Again, 180 grains. And we're gonna be doing some bright colors today. I'm gonna just start with something kind of dark though, some purple. And I've got this camera set up here for hopefully some cool slow motion. All right. So let's get started with this little art project. Woo! Nice. Ah, shucks. I think I forgot to turn on the GoPro. <laughs> All right, boys and girls. Don't forget to uh, Turn your cameras on. So we're gonna do some green. It's a little windy too. It's definitely not ideal for this um, art project. So in order to get the canvases to stay up there, I'm just using some good old-fashioned super glue. And it seems to be doing a pretty good job, but hopefully I don't lose any canvases here. I 
hit it. Oh, man. It looks really cool. Um, I'm gonna have to set this back up though. Give me one sec. Just real quick, I wanna show you. It's starting to look pretty cool, but I hit really low right there, so I guess I gotta aim a little higher. All right, I just realized it's gonna be a pretty messy uh, project. So hopefully I don't get paint all over my gun. All right, well, let's go and set up some, this is not orange, but vermilion. Just make sure I get my colors right. Hopefully this wind allows me to finish this art project without ruining everything. Oh boy, it's windy. done with three of them let's uh get on to the other three by the way <laughs> this gopro i'm so glad i've got that case around it because it's gonna get splattered with paint pretty good gross got a glob of paint on me <laughs> check it out it's starting to look pretty good Hopefully this wind kind of cooperates. Oh boy. We're set up for now. We're gonna try some raw sienna. All right, let me try and shoot this before <laughs> one of those canvases goes flying off. Nice. Uh-oh, one of the canvases is about to fall. Let me go reset that oh, before it does fall. Alright, new plan. Not sure why I didn't think of Gorilla Tip before. How did it get to be so windy? I guess it's just that time of year. It's always windy. I've been actually waiting like probably three, four weeks at least to do this video. This has been so windy. Alright, <laughs> let's see how that does. I thought the Loctite super glue was a good idea, but not in this wind. So let's go ahead and continue with some more brighter colors. I think I'm going to go with the uh, magenta. This paint is definitely splattering really nicely, especially all over my GoPro right here. <laughs> it's okay. It's got this, uh, it's in this case. And I think this uh, paint can pretty easily. Uh, wash off. It's actually coming off my fingers really easily. So hopefully I can wash it off the case okay. What happened? See, I just grazed it. Take two with the magenta. Woo! I believe that was a direct hit. Let me go ahead and stick up this as, uh, hey, Viridian. I love your lasers and flashlights. But essentially it's a 
kind of type of like green, kind of a light green. I seem to be getting some direct hits now. Very nice. Holy cow. That Viridian is all over the place. This looks amazing. All right, so now I just got to get this off with, uh, without damaging it. Got a big old blob right there. Let me get the middle one though. The middle one probably looks a lot better. The uh, super glue is definitely easier when there's no wind, but that uh, gorilla tape definitely makes sure it, it stays in there. So check that out. That's pretty cool. That is uh, a lot of paint globbed right there in the middle. Here. All right, we're set back up with three more canvases. It's the last three. Um, I'm gonna put this GoPro actually behind me to hopefully get a cool thumbnail. But I just want to show you guys <laughs> that it's been getting splattered pretty good. Um, I actually really like the look of it. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go and stick this behind me. Probably right next to this camera. Now we're going to do some crimson. Direct hit. How am I doing? I think I still have about four rounds left. Now just some good old fashioned gray. Oh no. I hit the canvas. I aim too low. Shucks. I hit it. I don't know what just happened there. Oh, I hit it. Really good, actually. Yeah, that went like right through it. But it didn't really splatter too much gray. I kind of want to try the gray one more time. Much better, much better. All right. Last but not least, we've got two shots to do it. Lemon yellow. <laughs> uh, this is too much fun. This has got to be like the most fun art project you can do. <laughs> All right. I guess that's gonna do it. Let me go ahead and get these canvases off real quick. Check out the 
middle one right here. That yellow really exploded on the middle one. But that looks pretty cool. Well, I'm so glad that the wind didn't ruin today's art project. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, you know, what was hopefully some cool slow motion as well as just this idea that anybody can do um, with really any gun, any caliber, except I will say, if you guys watched the first video, um, 22 long rifle out of a pistol did not really create a very good splatter. However, 22 long rifle out of, I think I did like a 16 inch barrel, that uh, did do a pretty good job. But I think, you know, obviously the, the heavier the bullet and the faster it's going, the more splatter you're going to get. So the 10 millimeter did a really good job. And I don't think I got any paint on the gun. Got paint on my fingers, but it's all mostly dry at this point. So, anyways, let's go ahead and get back inside, and uh, I'm gonna throw all of the canvases together to make a big uh, collage. So, uh, I'll see you guys back inside. So it's a little stormy outside. Um, there's about 27 mile an hour winds right now. So if you hear the windows rattling, um, I apologize about the background noise. But anyways, here it is. It came out pretty good, I think. So I basically just divided all the canvases with this uh, 3 8 inch strips of wood here. Um, spray painted it black, you know, nothing too fancy. But I think it looks pretty good. Um, Got a little bit of paint on the finger, but yeah, it's uh, on the first project. <clears throat> I basically started with the <clears throat> excuse me, the lightest colors, and worked my way down to the darkest. But on this one, there's really kind of no order. Uh, you never know exactly what you're going to get to until the paint dries, <clears throat> because the paint dries a little bit darker than uh, you know when. Um, than when the paint is still wet. So, you know, but it still, still looks good. Uh, I will say that I really do like the top two layers. This bottom one though, I'm not exactly too sure if this vermilion right here goes very good with the light green. It's just the contrasting colors um, isn't really exactly what I thought. Uh, I do like green and purple together though. But yeah, anyways, uh, it was all done with Freedom Munitions 10 millimeter. Uh, uh, which is a 180 grain bullet. Uh, I already chronographed it going 1127 feet per second out of this M&P M2.0 and it uh, creates a lot of kinetic energy <laughs> needless to say. So it creates a lot of splatter. It really explodes those uh, canisters of paint really nicely. As a matter of fact, I've got them right here. So this one this is the Viridian, so the green, you know, this like almost blue green right here, but yeah, it really annihilated this canister of paint right here. Basically like this, hit right in the middle and just exploded everything out. And then this right here, I'm not exactly sure if this is magenta or crimson I'm thinking crimson but uh, the bullet actually hit right where the label is so I can't exactly see what it says but that completely blew out the bottom of this paint canister <laughs> uh, so yeah these 10 millimeters create quite a bit of kinetic energy and uh, it works really well for splattering paint all over the place. So on the last project, um, I used all different kinds of calibers. So I was getting different kinds of like splatter patterns, uh, if you will. And the, um, like the 22s, for example, created just a little bit of splatter. Then I think I, you know, kept going up in caliber and I was getting all different kinds of patterns. But with this, it's pretty consistent. Just a lot of splatter right, in, or I should say more of like an explosion right in the middle. And then definitely a lot of paint on the outsides with very little white showing except for right on the borders. 
uh, but you know the first project if you saw that first video it was um, I'll go and roll in a picture actually of the uh, the finished art project but as you can see there was definitely a lot more white showing so a lot less uh, less of an explosion uh, or a lot less kinetic energy than this 10 millimeter but yeah I just really like the way it turned out so there's not really too much else to say but Thanks for watching.